Hi everybody, I'm Stefan Holt and this is News 4 Now for Tuesday, May 14th. Welcome. First up, let's talk about the weather. Fortunately, one more rainy, cold night ahead. I know, I know, but the good news, tomorrow it'll finally start to feel like spring again. Expect partly cloudy skies. We have high temperatures in the 60s. Now to the news and outrage at Hofstra University over a disturbing video that shows a fraternity forcing a puppy to drink beer. The college has suspended the campus chapter of Alpha Epsilon Pi after two men were caught on camera forcing a dog to drink from a keg. Happened at an off-campus party on Saturday. The students could face disciplinary action from the school, but as of right now, no criminal charges have been filed. The dog, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Buddy, appears to be okay. He's been turned over to the SPCA. The fraternity says it hopes this can be a teaching moment to help build better young men who are committed to its mission and values. The head of the NYPD's recruit training says the technique that was used on Eric Garner meets the definition of a chokehold. That testimony comes on the second day of Officer Daniel Pantaleo's departmental trial. Garner died back in 2014 while police were trying to arrest him for allegedly selling loose cigarettes. Inspector Richard D. testified today that coughing heard on the now famous video of the incident shows Garner's breathing was restricted by the hold. Panaleo's lawyer argues that the officer used an approved method known as a seatbelt hold. But Dee says there's no record of Pantaleo receiving training in that move. Disgraced former Congressman Anthony Weiner is now a free man. Weiner was released from a halfway house in the Bronx today, marking the end of a two-year stint for sending explicit text messages to a 15-year-old girl back in 2017. He'll now spend the next 20 years on the sex offender registry, but he says he's looking forward to making up for lost time. I hope to be able to live a, a life of integrity and service, and um, I'm glad this chapter of my life is behind me. This next video is hard to watch. It shows two thieves jumping out of a car and pistol whipping a woman. They then take off with her cell phone and purse. Happened on Ferry Street in Newark on Mother's Day. The woman says she thought she was going to be killed that day and is still in pain days later. Police say they've tracked down one suspect, but they're still looking for the other guy. Finally, fresh off of his master's win, Tiger Woods is on the prowl on Long Island. Woods went through a practice session at Bethpage Black in Farmingdale today. That's ahead of this weekend's PGA Championship. And just like when he was in his prime, the crowds were following his every move. I'm a big yeah. Tiger fan. I always have been. Uh, we're rooting for him. We're re we really are. And that will do it for News 4 Now. Stick around after this to see why so many BTS fans are camping out on Fifth Avenue. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for watching.